Okay, this is the fall 2024 exam one, practice exam two, problem five. So we're told, uh, let the domain of discourse be all people. Let B of X be the statement, X likes books, and let K of X be the statement, X owns a Kindle. And we're asked to rewrite the following statement into a statement with clear quantifiers, variables, and domains. And we're given an example of what a clearly quantified statement is that isn't relevant to the question. It says there exists a person X such that for every day Y, X goes to the zoo on day Y. So this is kind of just telling us that we can't use uh, like math notation, like the for all symbol, that there exists a uh, symbol, the imply symbol and all that stuff. That's to be written in English. So let's look at part A. Part A says that everyone who likes books owns a Kindle. So what do we, the, uh, the parts of this statement mean? The everyone means that we're talking about all people X. So we can start by saying for all people X comma, and then these people X, if they like a book, if they like books, if X likes books comma, then this implies that they own a Kindle. So we can say, then X owns a Kindle. And that's our full statement. Looking at part B now, we're starting with a someone. Someone means, unlike in part A, we're looking for there existing at least one person X. So we can start our statement like this. There exists a person x such that and we'll figure out what comes after this so this person likes books so we can add a comma uh this comma would go here such that x likes books and then let's look at the rest of the statement we're told that the person who likes books doesn't own a kindle so this person X must both like books and also not own a Kindle. And that means we need the and here. So X likes books and X does not own a Kindle. Okay. And then finally for part C, we have uh, an if then statement with everyone. So our if then means that somewhere here, we're gonna have a implication. So we can start by just saying if, and then somewhere down the line, we'll say then. So let's look at the statement inside the if. We're saying everyone, which means all people X. So if for all people X comma, if everyone likes books, that means that all these X people like books. So if for all people X, X likes books, comma, we have our then now. So we can say then, comma, someone owns a Kindle. What does this someone mean? Well, we saw earlier that someone means there exists at least one person X. So then there exists a person X such that, and then what's our such that? It's that they own a Kindle. So such that they, or such that I should say, X owns a Kindle. So for A, B, and C, we have A being for all people X, if X likes books, then X owns a Kindle. Part B is, there exists a person X such that X likes books and X does not own a Kindle. And then for C, we're saying that if for all people X, uh, X likes books, then there exists a person X such that X owns a Kindle. 